Let's say we have a list of numbers and we want to create a new list containing the squares of each number from that list. Normally, we can use a for loop like this. We create a new variable called squared and assign an empty list to it. Then we run a for loop for each number from our list, append the square value to our empty list, and finally print the new squared list. It works perfectly, but see, we have to write four lines of code for this simple task. And as Python developers, we like to write less code and get things done. That's why we have something called the map function in Python. The map function in Python takes at least two arguments. One is a function, and the other is an iterable. So let's try a practical example. First, I'll comment out this old code. Then I'll write squared equals map. And in brackets, I'm going to use a lambda function. Now, lambda is a different topic to discuss, so I'll write lambda space x colon x to the power of 2, comma, our list. And below that, we'll simply print the result. Now, when I run this, you'll see it returns a map object. That's normal. It's just Python's way of storing the result from map. But we need a list, right? So we'll simply convert this map object into a list. And now, when we run this, you can see we get a new list of squared numbers.